Welcome to Thinkers IAS. In this video, let's discuss about National Water Mission. So this is part of National Action Plan on Climate Change. Okay, so to fight against climate change and global warming. Uh, so the objective of this uh, National Water Mission is to conserve water, minimize the wastage and ensure its more equitable distribution both across and within the state. Okay, so these are the objectives, conserve the water, minimize the wastage and ensuring more equitable distribution between the states and within the states, between different regions. Okay, so through integrated water resource development and management, that is the objective. So from Maine's point of view, you need to remember this objective as well. Okay, sometimes uh, they are having uh, the, the habit of asking these issues. So the goals include comprehensive water database in public domain and assessment of impact of climate change on water resources. That is the first goal. So if you have the information about any aspect, you can devise strategies to fight against any problem. So that is the crux of the issue here. So we need to have the comprehensive water database in public domain in order to devise the policies and programs uh, to conserve water on a large scale. Second is that promotion of citizen and state action for water conservation, augmentation and preservation. So citizens need to be integrated into the scheme. Third goal is focused attention to vulnerable areas including over exploited areas of, of groundwater or highly polluted rivers okay, and others. The fourth goal is increasing water use efficiency by 20%. So we need to increase the efficiency of utilization of water. We should not waste the water unnecessarily. So that is another goal. A fourth goal, fifth goal is promotion of basin level integrated water resource management. So river should be seen in a holistic way. Okay, It is not just a stream uh, flowing across the slope, along the slope. Uh, it is a basin including the river stream okay so we need to look from larger perspective in order to manage the river okay so river basin approach uh, is the key here so the impact of climate change on water resources so there is huge impact on water resources from the climate change so let's discuss about these issues climate change there is a decline in glaciers so glaciers are melting at a faster rate than the normal okay so the higher melting of glaciers uh, in the in the in the himalayas that is affecting the himalayan rivers because uh, glaciers are the major source of water for himalayan rivers when the glaciers melt faster uh, that is a threat to the existence of river itself in the long run okay and Second is that there is drought like situation because of the climate change uh, due to war or decrease in the number of rain days in many parts of the world, country. That's the issue. Third impact is increased flood events in the short run because uh, of the global warming, more glaciers are melting at a faster rate that adds water, additional water uh, to the Himalayan rivers that resulting in increased flood events during the rainy season. Okay. So, that is a short term event but in the long term uh, we may face the shortage of water because the ret retreat of glaciers okay the fourth is that effect on groundwater quality so as we go deeper and deeper into the groundwater uh, that exposes very heavy metals like arsenic and others uh, so that makes the water unfit for consumption that is another issue influence on groundwater recharge change in precipitation and evapotranspiration that is another issue and increased saline intrusion into the coastal and island aquifers due to rising sea level so when the groundwater depletes in the coastal areas okay so when there is a depletion in the groundwater that creates vacuum and that drags the saline water from the oceans okay so that leads to saline water ingress into the island aquifers that makes the water unfit for consumption because of higher salinity okay and that also uh, has long term undesirable consequences like change in the crop pattern uh, change in the pattern of vegetation in the location because of the higher salt content in the water okay uh, so that leads to desertification in one way okay so this is the impact of climate change on water resources all over the world so now let's look at the strategies under national water mission so this mission will adopt strategies which lead to integrated plan for sustainable development 
and efficient management of water resources so with active participation of stakeholders so that is another key issue active participation of stakeholders it will identify and evaluate various development scenarios and management practices on the basis of dependable projection of impacts of climate change on water resources based on data and information so that is the projection and convergence between various water resource programs are also important component here okay so thirst areas thirst activities under the mission includes research and development implementation of uh, water resource projects okay uh, multiple especially the multi purpose projects promotion of traditional system system of water conservation so maintenance of wells uh, rainwater harvesting as we are witnessing in gujarat and rajasthan areas okay and fourth is that intensive program for groundwater recharge in over exploited areas so we can uh, recharge groundwater through various means uh, one is raising the burns uh, of the border agriculture land okay so whatever the rain uh, comes into the land will be uh, percolated deep into the ground ground okay one thing second is uh, bore well recharge okay through uh, through uh, digging of soak pits okay and flowing across the slope during the rainy season which enables the percolation of water into the land okay these are the ground water recharge technologies so incentivize for recycling of water including waste water so that is another thing we can uh, we can give incentives to private players in um, uh, for for re recycling the water including the waste water and intensive capacity building and awareness program okay including uh, grassroots level institutions like panchayat raj institutions urban local bodies and youth and sensitization of elected representatives of over exploited areas on the dimension of problem of uh, uh, depleting water resources that is another thing because lack of political will will lead to disaster so we need pro political will in order to make any scheme to become successful okay so that is the thirst activities so new sources can also be ex explored this includes reverse osmosis uh, of sea water and brackish water uh, thereby creating sal salt uh, pure water from the salt water and recycle of water and reuse wherever possible so uh, 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 and research and development uh, for for finding new technologies for water purification enhancing storage capacities in multi purpose hydro projects and integration of drainage with irrigation infrastructure so these are the new technologies so institutional mechanisms we have a uh, well established institutional mechanism uh, for water conservation this include national water policy we need to review that in order to suit the present uh, situation uh, to ensure con convergence among various uh, resource programs that is needed they are uh, we need to control the leakages okay and revise the water tariff to make the people responsible so if the tax on water is more then people use the water responsibly okay they do not waste water unnecessarily and to set up river basin organizations so national uh, river conservation authority and others okay and promoting micro irrigation techniques like drip and sprinkler irrigation which uses uh, 40 to 50% less water when compared to flood irrigation okay so drip irrigation has 100% efficiency whatever the water you use during the irrigation will be consumed by the plants okay so you can use 70% less water when compared to the flood irrigation okay so we should adopt the micro irrigation techniques like like uh, drip irrigation sprinkler irrigation mist irrigation or subsurface irrigation okay so encourage public private partnership models for waste water recycling so this topic is important from both prelims and mains one of you okay so please uh, make some notes from from it so if you are interested in current affairs analysis course please subscribe to that uh, only 2 and a half months is uh, uh, remaining for for prelims examination so if you are not up to the mark as far as current affairs is concerned here the course so we are also providing the revision videos from april 5th okay so whole year from from may 2016 to june 2017 so we are going to cover all the current affairs which are relevant from prelims point of view okay uh, as part of our revision videos that will be great help for uh, working professionals who do not find any time 
in in revising the topics so we will uh, prepare the revision notes for you okay from from current affairs perspective so if you are interested go ahead and subscribe to the course it is very affordable okay so you can click on the link provided in the description box below or uh, you can uh, just type thinkersis.com slash current affairs to subscribe to this so otherwise if you are not interested uh, you can watch our regular free videos on our youtube channel okay so you can subscribe to our channel and press on the bell icon to get updates from our channel okay whenever a new video is uploaded that will be intimated to you uh, through through your channel okay if you press on the bell icon so thanks for